Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge, and the purpose of today's video is to explain how many magazines that you need. And this is an odd topic because if you ask three different firearms instructors their perspective on this, then you're going to get ten different answers. My personal philosophy on magazines is practicality over quantity. Because money is tight, we need to prioritize. We need to prioritize our budget, we need to prioritize our spending on things that are going to maximize our ability to be effective with the tools that we have. I recommend anywhere between four to six magazines. That's going to be more than enough, and it's a good baseline to start with. So if you've got more than that, I get it. I understand it. But if you're just getting started off, guys, four to six is more than enough to do exactly what you need to do. you got to figure as of September of 2015, which is when I'm filming this, that these magazines are about 10 to 20 bucks a piece, depending on whether you're shooting an AR or an AK. You know, P-Mags are very cheap right now. They're 10 bucks, maybe even a little less if you can find them. Um, AK mags are about maybe 20 bucks a piece now. I know you can find deals on them. Either way, you're going to be spending anywhere between 60 and 120 bucks on a good starting baseline for magazines. That's not that expensive and it'll really help you become a lot more uh, useful with what you got. The question becomes this, would you rather have 50 magazines on hand or would you rather have the skills and the techniques to be able to use them effectively with what you carry? Why do I say why do I say that? Well, 50 magazines at 10 bucks a piece, 500 bucks. If you go up to that $20, that's a thousand bucks. That's the cost of either one or two classes, depending on where you go. So I would I ask that question to you guys. Would you rather have 50 pieces of inanimate plastic or steel, or would you rather have the skills and techniques and be able to use that? So we want to start low at four to six magazines as a good baseline. You have to figure. The rifle comes with one to two magazines. I know they used to come with two. Now we're seeing rifles come with one magazine. They already come with one. All you got to buy is, you know, three to five more, and you're already at that suggested baseline. It's not going to break the bank. I can tell you guys down in, in New Orleans when I was there during Hurricanes Katrina and Rita as part of Task Force Illinois, I carried 120, 160 rounds of ammo, and, you know, I never even came close to emptying my, my chest rig. So <laughs> if it didn't happen then, I don't foresee that happening in any situations that we're in. Furthermore, I ask you, this you know I teach in class you know every three times you press that trigger a person needs to be hitting the dirt okay so if you carry 120 to 160 rounds of ammo how many people are you planning on shooting do you think you're gonna make it through that entire chest rig and shoot every round without sustaining damage yourself I think we need to be honest with ourselves and see what situations that we're, that we're gonna be encountering at a you know in your home if you're defending your home and your family 120 to 160 rounds it's gonna do the trick, and if it doesn't, then you're gonna be more famous than David Koresh. All right, so I can tell you guys that that's more than enough. Furthermore, we get looting, rioting going on in our neighborhoods. 120, 160 rounds is good to go. It's more than enough to handle your situations, which brings us to that four to six magazine baseline that we've already talked about. You can slowly add magazines over time. You know, I've been doing this for 17 years now, and I've slowly added my magazines over time. Okay, magazines get lost in training. Okay, they get lost in grass. They get picked up by other people, so mark them. All right, but they do get lost. People say, well, they could wear out as well. Well, the, you know, pea bags really don't wear out. Uh, I think their spring life cycle is like 100,000 rounds or something like that. It's 100,000 cycles, so the chances of you wearing that magazine out are very small. Um, you know, AK magazines, I don't know what the life expectancy is. I've never seen one get worn out and they just keep working. So you're you're gonna run to replace those. They do get lost sometimes. People inadvertently, you know, pick them up off the range or whatnot. So we wanna slowly add over time. A good goal to shoot for is you wanna have your regular loadout and then double that, okay? That's a good thing to shoot for right off the bat. And as I said, if you've been doing this for a long time, we wanna slowly accumulate those magazines over time. There's no need to rush out and buy a bunch of them at, at, one, at one purchase. Guys, you can't carry that huge stash of magazines. You can't carry that on your person. If you do, it's very tiring. Okay, I was in the infantry and in the Marines. We carried some serious weight. Okay, it gets tiring carrying those heavy loads. All right, I value mobility over all that other stuff. All right, so what we got to do, guys, is understand that you're going to be much better served with the skills and techniques than having a bunch of inanimate pieces of plastic or steel. You're going to be much more effective knowing how to use what you're carrying than having a bunch of stuff on hand stashed without the skills to use them. If you found the information in this video helpful, subscribe to the channel, like me on Facebook. Links down below. This is Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge reminding you the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.